How to update the software on a Nexic 1000 in 2000. Updating the software ensures that your system has the latest features and fixes. Before upgrading, ensure that there are no sequencing runs, data uploads, or on-instrument secondary analysis in progress. Also, note that canceling an update before completion stops the update at the current point. Any changes made up to the cancellation point are reverted to the previous version or are not installed. Upgrading the software requires 16 gigabytes of free storage on the desktop. Step one, updating the software automatically. Note, the automatic update requires an internet connection. To perform the software suite update automatically, follow these steps. First, ensure you are logged into the Illumina admin account. If you are logged into the Illumina user account, sign out and switch to the Illumina admin. Next, from the control software home screen, select the menu icon in the top left corner. Then select software update. Now click check online for software update. Then update now. A new version of software downloads. If an authentication required box appears, type in your Illumina admin password and select authenticate. When the download is complete, select restart application and the control software closes. Then, the installation wizard appears. Select OK. If an authentication required box appears, type in your Illumina admin password and select Authenticate. After the installation wizard is complete, select OK and the control software automatically restarts. After initialization is complete, a notice appears that the firmware is out of date. Select Yes, update the firmware. Please note that during this process, the screen may go blank. Wait for the image to return and the process to complete. If the image does not return after five minutes, press the power button at the front bottom right side of the instrument. If the screen returned, follow the prompt to shut down the instrument. After the screen shuts down, be sure to press the power switch at the front bottom right side of the instrument to complete restart after the instrument shuts down. To update the software manually, follow these steps. First, ensure you are logged into the Illumina admin account. If you are logged into the Illumina user account, sign out and switch to Illumina admin. either on the instrument or a separate PC. Open the Chromium browser. If a dialog box opens, select Cancel and navigate to Illumina.com. Select the Support tab, followed by Product Support and Instrument Support. Select the down arrow next to NextSeq and choose the NextSeq 1000 and 2000. Under Software Downloads, choose View All and select the most recent software suite.tar.gz file. At the login screen, use your My Illumina or BaseSpace credentials to proceed with the download. If using a separate PC, download the files to a local or portable drive. If you saved the installers to a portable drive, plug the drive into a USB port located on both the side and back of the instrument. From the control software home screen, select the menu icon in the top left corner, then select software update. Now click choose to navigate to the installer file just downloaded. Select Update Now to start installation. If an authentication required box appears, type in your Illumina admin password and select Authenticate. If successful, the control software displays a busy indicator during installation. Once complete, select Restart Application. An installer progress bar appears with the status of the update and a notice for Dragon Workflow installers. Choose OK to dismiss. If an authentication required box appears,
Type in your Illumina admin password and select Authenticate. After the install is completed successfully, click OK. The new control software automatically launches. After initialization is complete, a notice appears that the firmware is out of date. Select Yes, update the firmware. During this process, the screen will go blank. Wait for the image to return and the process to complete. If the image does not return after five minutes, proceed to the next step and manually toggle the power switch. After the update is complete, follow the prompt to power cycle the instrument. Make sure to toggle the power switch at the bottom front right side of the instrument to complete the power cycle after the instrument shuts down. For more instructions, view our How to Power Cycle the Nexus 1000 and 2000 video. Either on the instrument or a separate PC, open the Chromium browser If a dialog box opens, select Cancel and navigate to Illumina.com. Select the Support tab, followed by Product Support and Instrument Support. Select the down arrow next to NextSeq and choose the NextSeq 1000 and 2000. Under Software Downloads, choose View All and select the most recent software suite.tar.gz file for each installer. At the login screen, Use your My Illumina or BaseSpace credentials to proceed with the download. If using a separate PC, download the files to a local or portable drive. If you saved the installers to a portable drive, plug the drive into a USB port located on both the side and back of the instrument. Repeat the preceding steps until Dragon Germline, Dragon RNA, Dragon Single Cell, Generate Fast Q, and the Dragon Compression file are all downloaded. If the files were downloaded on a separate PC, copy the files to an external hard drive and plug the drive into a USB port, located on both the side and back of the instrument. Step 4. Updating the NextSeq 1000 and 2000 Sequencing Dragon Workflows. From the Control Software Home screen, select the menu icon in the top left corner, then select Dragon. In the Version section, select Browse for New Version. In the Browse window, navigate to the folder location with the Workflow Downloads and double-click Dragon Enrichment File. Next, click Install. If an Authentication Required box appears, Type in your Illumina admin password and select Authenticate. Repeat the preceding steps until each download workflow module is installed. Step 5. Updating the Dragon Genomes Continue onto the Dragon screen. Under Genomes and Import New Reference Genome, select Choose. In the Browse window, navigate to the folder location of the previously downloaded files. Choose the Dragon Compression REF file and double-click. Next, select Import. The control software displays a busy indicator during installation. Once successfully installed, click Done. Step 6. Updating the Dragon License, which can be done automatically or manually. To update the Dragon License automatically, note the automatic update requires an internet connection. 
Continue on to the drag and screen and under license and under license renewal, select renew online. To update the Dragon license manually, first contact Illumina Technical Support to obtain a license key. Save the license.zip file to a local or portable drive. If you saved the license zip file to a portable drive, plug the drive into a USB port located on both the side and back side of the instrument. Back in the control software on the Dragon setup screen, under license and license renewal, Select Choose Offline and navigate to the folder location with the license zip file and double click the zip file. Then select Update. Final steps. After installation is complete, delete all the downloaded installation files and empty the trash to save space. Log in as Illumina user to begin sequencing.